Hi, I'm Janet Ingle, the Five Minute Read Maker, and I wanted to talk today about Joe Read, a really useful concept that I wholeheartedly stole from my fabulous Oboe Read Bootcamp uh, co teacher, Erica Anderson. See, especially if you make a relatively small number of oboe reads, you can get really tied up in knots trying to make them all good. You can spend a lot of time, a lot of unjustified time, trying to improve the tone or the feel of a day one read, and that work is never actually going to translate to your finished product. So... What if, instead of sitting down with the goal of making a good read, you just try to make a basic read, a Joe read? And then what if you made another one? It doesn't take any time, really, to construct the basic elements of a read. As long as you don't feel obligated to bring it along to excellence that very same night. My first day's scrape, as you know from numerous other videos I've put up, is just a basic tip, heart, and windows. at least 72 millimeters that beeps and maybe crows. I can do that in under a minute from a pre-wound blank and if no major disasters occur, I'll just put it away for the night. Maybe there is a disaster, right? Maybe I wreck the tip badly, or I discover a leak high up on the side, or maybe I hate the piece of cane that I'm working with. Uh, I have no emotional attachment to this Joe Reed, and all the time I expended was like winding it up yesterday and today's minute of scraping, so I can let it go without guilt. And But if that minute of scraping did yield a competent Joe Reed, a competent basic read, I can tuck it away with the feeling of a job well done. That's satisfying, right? On day two, I can take that Joe Reed and I can thin the tip and improve the symmetry and the structure and balance it until it crows a C. For me, this might be two minutes of work without even putting the reed on the oboe, but that's experience talking. I would recommend spending maybe five minutes culminating with a quick noodle on the instrument. I'm not still not trying to turn this into a Janet read though, right? I don't need this read to be the one that I walk out on stage with for the Strauss Concerto tonight, necessarily. I just need it to respond reliably and play roughly at pitch and feel like a basic new read. A Joe read. Sometimes here, I might give up on the read if the cane feels terrible under my knife, or if the reed refuses to vibrate, even when I scrape aggressively. If I can't get it to that sea crow in a few minutes, I might sacrifice it. No one's got time for a reed that won't come along when it's told to. Uh, on day three, I'll start to analyze the individual characteristics of this particular read. Maybe this one is sitting sharp and I need to scrape more or I need to do my step into the heart to bring it down. Maybe it's heavy in the response, so I'd scrape the tip. Or maybe it's heavy in the sustain, so I'd scrape the heart. Maybe I specifically need a read that pops out high notes this week or one that can coast in down low. Uh, maybe I need something with extreme pitch stability or with extra flexibility. At this point, I might play on three or four Joe reads from my case and select the one that's closest to what I need and then tweak it from there. But did you notice what I just said? Before my third day of scraping, I don't care how bad the reed sounds. I don't care if it feels heavy. I just want Joe Reed to be a competent, basic reed working its way toward being finished. Once it's under 71 millimeters and crowing a C, then I start getting interested. I can turn out Joe reads all day long and never once feel stressed about them. Um, and if I've got enough competently constructed Joe reeds sitting in my case, I know I can come up with something to play no matter what it is that I need. I hope this has been helpful to you. This has been a five minute read maker lesson. You can follow these short videos right here on YouTube and please subscribe so you'll always know when I post something new. Uh, if you have questions or concerns or if you wanna order reads or cane, you can find me at JanetIngle.com. In fact, I would love to hear what else I can help you with and what my next short video should address for you. Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.